Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use Socrative to create a quiz game that includes short answer questions or open response questions. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to log in to my teacher account. Now let's go in and select quizzes and now create a new quiz. And we're going to call this one a quiz of fun things. I'm not going to align this quiz to a standard. And now you can see here we can choose multiple choice, true, false, or short answer. Let's go and use the short answer option. And we're going to make this question based upon a picture. So we'll say what is the name of the dog in this picture? And now we'll select the plus symbol and we're going to put in a picture. I'm going to use a picture of my dog Max. Now I can add in correct answers so that students can get immediate feedback. Let's select add and the answer is Max. You can put an explanation in if you want to. I'm not going to in this case. And now we'll save it. By the way, if you need to format the font or add some paragraph breaks or anything like that, you can do that with the formatting tool. I'm going to turn that off. Let's go ahead and save this. You can always go back in and add more questions later. And we'll save and exit. So now let's go into the launch mode and select quiz. And here's a quiz of fun things. We'll select next. And we can choose, do we want to have instant feedback, teacher paste, open navigation. Let's select teacher paste. And we'll show question feedback to the students. And now the activity is running. Now my students can start it as soon as I have hit start. To participate in the activity, my students will need my room code, which is 52234. The nice thing about Socrative is you'll have the same room code for all the activities that you ever create. So let's go ahead and see the, the student side of this. So we'll go to Socrative.com. And we'll select student login. They put in the room code. And they can put in their real names or they could put in a screen name. Uh, we'll put in a real name. And let's type in the answer. And you can see the immediate feedback that appears. It's correct. And the activity is complete. And the student can close this screen out and his or her answer has been recorded. Now, as the teacher, I can see who has responded. I can go and show names, hide names. I can hide answers. So if I wanted to just put it up on the board and see who's answered and see uh, how many answers have come in so far, I could do that and then show the answers later. Likewise, if I'm putting this on the board, I can show names or hide names. And let's go ahead and finish that out. And so now I can have the report if I want to. I can download a report to see how everybody did. Take a look at the chart. There's the responses. Again, if I want to show the names, I can toggle on the names and I can see that as well. So that's a short overview of how you can create an open response quiz or game activity using Socrative. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.